time for another UK maths challenge junior challenge and with permission from the UKMT I am going to attempt a question and you might want to try it first see what you get and then see if your answer matches my answer let's go the diagram shows a unit cube that just means each length is a unit we don't really need to know what the units are colored blue Additional blue unit cubes are glued face to face to each of its six faces to form a three dimensional cross. If unit cubes coloured yellow, so not blue, yellow, are now glued face to face to all the spare faces of this cross, how many yellow unit cubes are required? Try and visualize in your head each of these faces having a cube now glued onto them. Can you imagine what that shape would look like? It would look something like this. But I've added in an extra cube just to kind of demonstrate the yellow bit. But to see that that matches up, notice this front face here they've now stuck on a blue cube right next to it. See the top face here? They've now stuck on this cube on top of it. And the right hand face here, they've stuck this cube on top of it. And so on. So each face now has a cube next to it. That is six cubes in total. But each of these blue cubes is now going to have a yellow cube on its spare faces. So for example, here's one of the yellow cubes. It's stuck on the bottom of that bottom blue cube. How many of those would we need? Again, we're going to have to really try and visualize this if this is going to work. What I would do is start with that bottom cube here. How many yellow cubes would we need to cover it all up so we couldn't see any of the blue faces? We'd need one on the bottom, two on the two sides, right and left, and two front and back. Now I don't have a diagram this time, you'll just have to visualize it. So you've got the one on the bottom, one on the left, one on the right, one on the front, one on the back. That's five in total. Five cubes just to cover that bottom blue cube. Now, that bottom blue cube is in exactly the same situation as that top blue cube. You'd need one on the left, one on the right, one at the front, one at the back, and one on top. So there's another five cubes. So it definitely can't be A6. Now let's do the left and right cubes. You're probably wondering, is that going to be 5 and 5 as well? And then a 5 and 5 again? So we have 30 in total. But here, do you remember when we covered the top cube? Let's, treat, let's look at this right-hand cube. Do you remember when we covered, covered the top cube? and put a yellow cube here that kind of covered that face. Well, that cube would also cover this face, so we don't need a cube for that face. So we don't need five anymore. Again, when we covered that bottom blue cube with a yellow cube here, that covered the bottom of this right-hand cube. So we don't need five anymore, we just need three. One for this face, one for the back face, and one for the right hand side. So we now only need three. Three cubes. Cubes. Same thing for the left hand cube. Already the bottom face was covered by the cube that was for the left hand side of the bottom blue cube. So we don't need to do it again. See this top cube? For its 
left hand side we needed a cube round about here didn't we and that covers the top of this left hand blue cube so again we only need a front a back and a left hand side that's three more cubes so it's going to be symmetrical so five cubes for the bottom three cubes for the left and right and five cubes for the top what about the front and back cubes well now almost all of their sides if you can imagine it are covered we have let's take this front cube here the top of it was covered by the cube that's covered this one as well the right hand side was covered by the cube let's now do it in, in orange the right hand side of this cube was covered by this the cube that covered the left hand side of this right hand cube I know I'm saying right and left a lot but just try and follow on this top side was covered by the same cube that covered this face and the bottom of the cube was covered by the same cube that covered this face in grey and the left hand side of the cube was covered by the same cube that covered on here so in other words for the front blue cube and the back blue cube there's only one face left to cover the front of the front and the back of the back so this side here the front of the front and the back of the back so that's one more cube there and one more cube here so because of all that overlapping you need loads of cubes for the first two that you cover up you need a front and a back a left and a right and a bottom front and a back left and a right and a top but for the next cube you don't need as many because you've already done some of the work you need for example a front and a back a right a front and a back and a left and for the final two blue cubes you don't need a left or a right or a top and a bottom you just need a front and then for the other cube you need a back 5 plus 5 3 plus 3 and 1 plus 1 adds up to 18 so we need 18 cubes for this feat of visualization.